what is going on guys and welcome back to another video my name is jeremy and this is jeremy's wild world so as you guys probably saw from today's title today we're going to be rehousing a huntsman species this being hedgepoda javana now hedgepoda javana is for me personally a really really underrated species of huntsman you know uh people are typically scared when getting huntsman with the size and the speed whereas javana yes it can be quite quick if not handled appropriately um not actually handling the but you know handling the situation um but you know uh, they're quite small, so you know you don't have to worry about that really large, intimidating spider. Uh, but for me personally, they're absolutely gorgeous. They're thumb size adult females, and I know I got small hands before people start saying. Uh, but yeah, so they're absolutely gorgeous regardless. And uh, basically, I'm setting up a display enclosure, and hopefully, it's going to be a series of display enclosures, um, as you can see here. Uh, of exoterras and you know arboreal enclosures in general i want to start doing that for all the hedgepodas uh just huntsman sporatidae and my wolf spiders um basically showing you guys how to set them up um you know i always get questions on how to care for them at the shows so i thought this would be a good idea to show what a permanent setup for an adult specimen would look like and then you can replicate what you would do for smaller individuals etc etc so before we get into today's video guys i just want to quickly say that according to my youtube statistics a lot of you guys who watch my videos are subscribed so if you enjoyed today's video and you want to see more click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell down below so you guys don't miss out on future content now without further ado let's start off today's video by showing off this absolutely gorgeous adult female heteropoda javana all right guys so as you can see we're going to start off by showing you this absolutely gorgeous heteropoda javana adult female now this is one that i purchased from the spider shop as you can see here i believe i got this one at the aes which was a little bit smaller at the time it has molted a couple times uh, to adulthood since getting it at the aes show and I'm going to get it out in a second and just show you um, the specimen here. But you can see one absolutely gorgeous spider. Now, if you guys are worried about Huntsman and the size that they can get to, um, I would highly recommend a Hedge Proto Javana for specific reasons of the adult females just being a lot smaller and less intimidating in size. But they do have that speed of a normal quick Huntsman. So what I'm going to do here is just take this cork bark and hopefully she won't move around too much. Lovely. Looks like she's going to rely on her camouflage. So here she is right here and as you can see in comparison to my thumb this is an adult female and a really really gorgeous specimen uh, i'm really hoping uh, that i'll be able to pair them up because i recently got in a few spiders and some of them including two sub-adult males of this species as well so hopefully i'll be able to pair these up but you can see here absolutely gorgeous spiders and i'm going to be rehousing them into a or rehousing her sorry into an absolutely amazing exoterra enclosure and this is what i'm going to be hopefully doing many displays for for my many sporatids and um satanids if you don't know what those are those are the huntsman spiders and wandering spiders and yeah so this is an absolutely gorgeous hedgepoda javana let's get into showing you what enclosure i'm going to be housing her in and the ideas i have in mind for her all right guys so here is the enclosure that i'm going to be housing this female into as you can see it's the 20 by 20 by 30 exoterra these are the nanos now i'm hopefully going to be utilizing a lot of these i currently have five at the moment that i picked up at the ihs show uh last year and hopefully i'll be rehousing a few more huntsmen into this uh style enclosure and basically the reason why i like these a lot is because of the front opening door like so so if I want to access the enclosure to water the plants I'm going to be putting in here and or just to feed her, I can go in from the front. And there's also top opening lid as well. And yeah, so the plan is to get her rehoused in here. And every one of these enclosures is hopefully going to look a little different from the other one, uh, depending on the species. Of course, I'm going to be housing some hedgepoda in here and the enclosures will look similar, but hopefully I'll utilize different plants and different kinds of wood and stuff like that. And you can see quite the upgrade for her lots of space for her to wander around at night um you can see on the deli cup here all the little uh, marks that she's laid and web so basically these are like trip wires for her so to sense any prey she can come out and quickly grab stuff and they're like anchor points as well so to secure herself here you know, she'll wander around if anything was to come back she can go back to the original spot um but yeah the only reason why i kept her in this deli cup for a little while is because again i like to monitor my spiders when i first get them in especially wild caught specimens uh, but this one had molted when i picked her up so she's quite a good size and you did see in the intro or the beginning of today's video she's doing really really well and of course getting quite the nice upgrade and this will also benefit me when it comes to breeding them i can just leave the male in here let him wander around he has plenty of space to get away from the female if she wants to go at him but i think at this size she's quite ready to breed now so i'm just waiting on the males to mature and yeah so what the plan is guys i'm gonna get this uh, all set up off camera like i did with the epibopus murinus female and show you guys what i decided to come up with again i like to do it off camera it, it gets my mind more focused in what i want the enclosure to look like 
And yeah, so without further ado, let's cut back into what this enclosure looks like in just a second for you guys. All right, guys, so the enclosure is now complete. Let's have a little look at why I decided to come up with and the reasons for and why. So just panning out here, guys, this is the enclosure that this gorgeous Hedgepoli Giovanna is going to be going into. Now, I do wish I could get a background here. Maybe at some point I'll paint the back so she won't be exposed to like the light, even though this enclosure will be on the racking anyways. Um, but nevertheless, I'm really, really happy with how this enclosure turned out. So let's just go in here and have a look at what I put in and why. So as you can see, it's well planted with a couple different species, this red vein plant and the pothos. Uh, but let's talk about the substrate first of all. So as you can see down here, no, it's not a bioactive substrate. It's just uh, my normal topsoil peat moss mix with some sand. And what I've done in here is added some of my orange and springtails. Um, as you can see here, you can see the white ones, which are the juveniles and the bigger ones, which are the adults. So it matches, you know, the common name for the Hedgepoda Giovanna is orange. Huntsman, so Orange Spring Tales as a cleanup crew would be absolutely fantastic. Now, um, I'm really, really happy with the substrate. Uh, it's, you can see it's quite compact, and that's mainly for the plants because Hetropoda generally don't go to the ground at all. So mainly the substrate is just for keeping up the humidity in here, as well as being beneficial for the plants. Now, I do have a few different species of moss in here as well. You can see in the back there's some moss there. This gorgeous red vein plant and this piece of pothos here. Now, what I'm hoping with the pothos is that it will grow up and leaves will expand a bit more. This is just a cutting from my main plant that I use for my enclosures. Um, I basically want the leaves to grow a bit more because hetropoda tend to live on the leaves. Um, I've seen both my David Bowies and uh, previously some of my larger huntsmen utilize pothos leaves. So I'm hoping that these leaves will grow in the future uh, but so far so good you can see a new leaf growing there and then i've got some pieces of bark in here no i didn't go with cork bark this time i went with some bark that um my friend had collected i bought a bunch of wood off him basically i got a large collection i got some of the wood so he has some of this wood here i like quite like the look of this natural wood um cork bark of course is natural but i like the you know different kinds of wood every now and then not always cork bark and uh, yeah so that's pretty much this enclosure hopefully um she'll settle in quite nicely in here I'm aiming for her to mainly live on this piece of cork so when she lays her egg sac I can take it away from her even though she will carry it um, but hopefully she will utilize either this one or this one as um, when she will lay her egg sac if I do manage to pair her properly and live on these pieces of pothos as well. So that is basically the enclosure guys, really really happy with how it's turned out. Um, yeah, uh, so let's just get her rehoused and hopefully it'll go quite smoothly. She's uh, just waiting there so let's hope she doesn't do a runner. All right, guys, so moving on to the final part of today's video, which, of course, is rehousing this absolutely gorgeous Hedgepoda Giovanna. Now, um, hopefully this won't be a very dramatic rehousing. As you guys are aware, the Hedgepoda and Sporacidae in general are very, very quick spiders when they want to be. But as I showed you in the beginning of today's video, if you do handle them correctly, they usually just rely on their camouflage. Um, main reasons for this being that they... When they run, it costs them energy, and energy that they'll get from food that comes very rarely. Of course, in captivity, we do feed them on a mainly consistent basis, but in the wild, they don't want to be wasting their energy and would rather rely on their camouflage. Um, so hopefully she does that. She just relies on a camouflage. I'm going to pick up a piece of cork or a piece of wood that she's on, put it into the enclosure, and just hope and pray that she does not do a runner. Um, what I'll probably do is just close the lid slightly and try to encourage her off, and she'll run into the back. Hopefully, we'll see. Um, I have put the mesh lid back on the top of the enclosure as well, so hopefully she doesn't do a run-up. Right, so let's just stop waffling and get into it. Uh, trying to put this off, you know, Huntsman rehousings I usually do off camera, but you know, have to make it the video exciting, you know? <laughs> but yeah, as you can see here, guys, what an absolutely gorgeous spider. Um, adult female, again, similar size to my thumb, very, very small species, and you know, for breeding purposes, I probably could have kept her in the cup, but I want to have uh, the multiple species of Hetropoda and uh, Sporacidae in general, so tenants in display enclosures, so you guys can have a look at what kind of environment that these spiders should be living at. So yeah, she's very, she's really well behaved at the moment, to be fair. So what I'm going to do, let me just pop this piece of wood here, close the lid slightly, and use my tongs to just give her a little encouragement into the enclosure. She probably will just bolt as soon as I touch her. Oops, see, a little bit, oh, there we go. See, just like that, disappeared to the top of the enclosure. Right, so she's on the lid, so I'm just going to quickly take that. 
running around quite frantically as you can probably see and she's gone oh there she is on the wood why is the lid not closing oh that's why <laughs> locked it there we go lovely so guys as you can see rehousing huntsman doesn't have to be the most dramatic thing in the world um very very simple just handle the spies correctly you know know what times that they're going to be quite chilled out hiding in their cork bark and you're absolutely sorted so let's just have a quick look at where she is at the moment i think she's just at the bottom of the wood you can see down there she's just sitting there at the moment and i won't disturb her too much now uh, but she's got plenty of space in here and i'm very very happy with how this enclosure turned out and yeah so that is pretty much the end of today's video guys i hope you enjoyed it and if do let me know down in the comments below guys do you enjoy these rehousing videos would you like me to do more of these in the future because you know um a lot of rehousing videos are on the internet but i have a lot of true spiders so if you'd like to see more display style enclosures uh do let me know um and yeah so that's pretty much the end of today's video guys i hope you enjoyed it let's get into the outro out <laughs> let's get into the outro of today's video and end it so that's the end of today's video guys what do you think i'm really really happy with how the enclosure turned out as i usually am with all of my rehousings um you know i basically picture something that i want to set up and so far so good um at the time of recording this outro the pothos has started growing in and the leaves are starting to grow out and i always see her wandering around at night when i come in here when it's dark i turn on the light and she's wandering around there's loads of webbing so hopefully i have a couple males that are uh, due to molt soon so fingers crossed those molt out properly and i'll be able to pair these absolutely gorgeous species once again i have done it before uh but again i love these species i love hexapoda javana um Again, a really, really nice bite and I highly recommend them for people that haven't kept Huntsman before and are intimidated by the size. You know, again, like you saw, small species, an adult female can live in a 30, 30, uh, sorry, 20 by 20 by 30 exoterra, um, though they don't necessarily need all of the space. They do utilize it very well. Um, you'll see uh, your Giovanna laying a bunch of web and stuff like that. And yeah, so that is pretty much the end of today's video, guys. Um, if you have any recommendations for hedgepodas or any Huntsman spiders, wolf spiders, uh, wandering spiders that you would like to see me set up in the future, do let me know down in the comments below. And yeah, so that is pretty much it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I'd really appreciate it. If you would, click that subscribe button as well as the notification bell down below so you guys don't miss out on future content. I'd also really appreciate if you guys would follow me on Instagram, Jeremy's Wild World, as well as my uh, Facebook page, Jeremy's Wild World. I'm really active on there posting pictures and videos of the animals and inverts I keep when I don't upload on YouTube. So that's all for me today, guys. Leave a like, leave a comment, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.